We're on? Mm -hmm. Hey, we're back. Sorry, I guess I was sideways. Um, got a new iPhone, and Brooklyn is saying it was challenging her a little bit, so we're gonna, we'll figure that out for next week. But um, as I was mentioning, I hope everybody's been having some great results, that you're keeping up with the cellular size, or keeping your immune system functioning well, um, and enjoying the journey. We're going to talk tonight about some of the issues that some of you are having or some of the objectives that you want to accomplish, because that's what this is all about, is supporting each other, helping you get results. And that's the passion behind Solar Size. And for those who don't know a lot about Solar Size, just real briefly, it is not weightlifting. It is not typical forms of exercise at all. It doesn't target certain muscle groups. It targets the entire body collectively as a whole. It isn't weightlifting. It is weight bearing. So we don't limit the effect. That increase of weight is on every muscle, bone, connective tissue, ligament, tendon, skin, collagen, protein fibers throughout the entire body over 100 times a minute. That's how many times a minute? You're moving up and down. You're weightless, weight, weightless, weight. And that increase of weight is what causes the cells to fortify their membranes with more protein, causes the bones to utilize the minerals to create greater uh, bone density, all without jarring. And in addition to that, the advantages of cellar size is that we can alter the angle of our body in different positions so we can focus the effect on different areas even though, though the rest of the body collectively is always working at the same time. That's totally unique. So. One of the things that I say about cellular size is it works as an isometric for toning, but it doesn't tone from the outside in. It literally tones from the inside out. It's isotonic. It is weight bearing for building up muscle mass and bone density, but without tearing down to build up. It's calisthenic. We can target certain areas of the body by altering the angle of our body to create leverage and focus on different areas or different concerns. It's aerobic for conditioning and it's a flexibility program without ever having to stretch. Now, some of you have gone pretty aggressively at the cellar sizer. And I want to kind of reemphasize that the cellar sizer, cellar size is intense. You're not just working one part of the body. You're working everything all at the same time. So you want to give yourself some time. You want to enjoy it. Every time you're on it, you are successful. And again, it's a journey. It's not a destination. We're going to enjoy the journey as we get better and better and better. I'm going to read some um, customer reviews, answer some questions, and I'd like to answer some of your questions. So if you have questions, please type them up. Brooklyn is, is actually um, going to be writing those down. Christine is in the background. She's going to be helping us with the editing. Um, we've got a, a couple other people we're going to be bringing on board that um, we've been talking about, and I think you're going to be very excited, and we'll be announcing them next week. Um, and beyond that, um, let's get started. So, number one, from Angie. Angie writes, this may sound funny, but before I started cellar sizing, I couldn't walk the skinny cement curb thing at my work. Walking it like a tightrope, lots of laugh. Or laugh out loud. <laughs> and now I can. No problem. Point. My balance is so much better. S some may say, why? Why does this matter? Maybe it doesn't to some, but it does to me. Baby steps. And now I can walk along the top of the cement curb. Thanks, Angie. And it's true. What does balance have to do with age? You know, we often think it does, and yet you can't give me the name of anybody that was born with balance. <laughs> They're not. It's a physiological function. We have to challenge our balance to get it. And one of the advantages of cellar size is it challenges the balance mechanism. So people of all ages are getting incredible benefits through that movement up and down. And, and you can read some of those customer reviews on our website. This is from Gord. Okay, Gord is a Gord sent in a video, and I want to encourage you, if you can take um, your iPhone and, and then just do a little video or customer review, please do it. We're going to be putting that on our new website, which is due to come out in a couple weeks, and we'd love to have some of those, um, those customer reviews in our, in our video library. But um, I'll read what he says, and then you'll be able to actually hear him very shortly says, hi, Dave and the Cellar Sizer team. The attached video speaks for itself. It is an overdue thank you and a brief demonstration of some of the benefits that have been received. 
You do not have to show this video to anyone but your staff. However, if you choose to show it to the Solar Size family, you have my permission to do so. My wife and I and my family members and friends are deeply grateful for you and the amazing product and process you were given insight to create. Thank you, Gord. And yeah, it's one great big family. We're all in it together. All right, this one's from Austin. I don't know if I read this or not, but it says, It was a pleasure speaking with you again this afternoon and meeting with you so many years ago, 16. I knew then what I still know now, and that is that you are a man of his word regarding product support, genuine belief, and conviction in the healthy fitness lifestyle. I just recently recommended the Cellular Sizer to my friend who was looking for an affordable, safe, convenient, and easy-to-use product to meet his health and fitness needs. He is so happy to be finally and consistently achieving his personal fitness health objectives that had eluded him these past years. The only problem now is his wife and four daughters have hijacked the Cellular Sizer, so he has to meticulously schedule his usage. I personally have been using the Cellular Sizer almost daily since 2004 and have invented and reimagined so many various utilizations to meet my ever-evolving fitness goals. I can tell you that the Cellular Sizer is durable, well-built, reliable, and future-proof as to the numerous variations and modifications one can experience regarding exercise functionality. I exceedingly recommend the Cellular Sizer for anyone looking to improve their fitness, vitality, mental, physical health, and overall general well-being. Regards, Austin. Well written, and thank you, Austin, for sharing that. We had a lady call us up. I had her name written down. I'll have to... Oh, and I'm grateful to her. I, I don't re remember her name, but she, uh, she called up, and she said, David, my daughter has been wanting me to go visit her, and I've had to tell her, honey... I will come and I'll visit with you as soon as you have a cellar sizer. In other words, she has her cellar size program down that she doesn't want to go a day without cellar sizing. So she's encouraging her daughter to get one. I thought that was really cute. So, all right, this one's from Kim. It says, Dave, your kindness and compassion are deeply appreciated and I am paying that forward each and every day. Just this summer, I seized moments to share my excitement and what knowledge I've gleaned from regularly rebounding and subscribing to your app and Facebook, the Miss Rebounder app. During these pandemic times, a number of my friends bought their own rebounder. Now, feeling confident I know all the movements from the app, I began creating my own music playlist, so chosen songs are sometimes specific and even more uplifting in my rebound sessions. And that's why we created that little mute button on the Mr. Rebounder app so you can play your own music. And you can create your own routines. And, and oh, we're gonna to come to that in a minute. Okay, thank you for holding the heart energy for us. It has not gone unappreciated. Kim from Maine. Kim, thank you. Thank you for the orders. So as you know, this one is from Patricia. So, so as you know, there are so many claims in marketing, it's hard to believe everything that is being told to you. <laughs> Isn't that true? One part of me was wanting all your claims of the Cellular Sizer to be true, and the other part was saying it's too good to be true. But it all made sense to me and I was look, as I was looking to be able to continue to exercise well into my 80s and beyond. I'm now 71, and in the past, I swam laps for over 36 years consistently. Unfortunately, I tore my super... Sp spinitis in my shoulder and the pain stopped my swimming. In my 40 and 50s, I was a pretty avid runner and I've always loved moving my body. At 69, I entered a bikini competition and got into competitive shape and actually was the only one in my age group. I didn't know it at the time. I thought it would be competing with others my age, so I competed with the 50s and held my own. So needless to say, I have been active and health conscious for many years. I am not a fool when it comes to wear and tear, and that is why I felt that I was going to give your cellar sizer a try. I am so excited with the results so far, and honestly, I started on September 7th, the day after its arrival. Today, it is October 11th, and I am so just impressed with the progress I have made in such a short period of time. I found an easy video of yours online of beginning how-to, and then your original work, with the avatar on our Mr. Rebounder app. 
That is a great workout for me so far, but would like to know about the community that you speak of. The community is a program we're putting together right now, which will allow everyone who has the Mr. Rebounder app to create their own routines and then share them with each other. And if you like the routine that somebody else has created and you want to adapt it or, or, or adopt it, you'll be able to go and save that particular routine into your own personal library. In addition to that, we're also going to have um, an exercise follow-along program with uh, Stephanie and Sally um, soon with a number of routines as well. There's going to be advantages to both. I can't seem to find the community. I did sign up for your newsletter today. It may be there. I just didn't know it. It's coming. Needless to say, I'm telling others how wonderful the cellar sizer is, and my husband has remarked on seeing a difference in my body too. I'm sure he enjoys that. I was doing some functional movements and weightlifting, but have concerns about stressing my tear and, of course, my back. So I have alternated somewhat, but you're, but you're winning the race. I have cut back on the weightlifting and giving your plan more time. How easy is 12 minutes a day to feel and see such a rapid improvement? Also, I would like to mention how impressed I am with you as a good person. I can tell that it comes across even online. That was another reason I was willing to take the chance. It was a money investment for me, but I can tell you that I'm glad that I made that decision. I look forward to getting on and I bounce in the morning and when I wake up and before I go to bed most nights. I have stretched and used a melt roller in addition to your workout, but I have noticed I am not as tight as I was in the morning when I stretch and roll. I know that you appreciate feedback, and the gentleman I originally spoke with and ordered was a good man as well. That's Jerry. I tr it truly comes across that you have your hearts in the right place. It is so nice to know that people like you are in the market for the right reasons, and everything you have said can be experienced in a short period of time. Also, I have to say I am not easily impressed with many things, and my expectation, expectations for my fit, fitness levels are high. That is why I wanted you to know that I am happy with the progress that I've seen in a very short period of time. Thank you for being who you are. This is what will let me keep on moving and staying healthy. It is a big part of my lifestyle. Much appreciated, Patricia. And that's what it needs to be, simply a lifestyle. And that's Patricia too. Okay, let's read some questions. Um, Customer reviews are really important because they're coming from the heart of people that are actually using it. Um, I'm hoping that you're writing some questions and, and that Brooklyn, you're getting some of those down because the whole purpose of this is to support you so that you get results. And if you have a setback or something occurs, you know, we're here to help work and, and move it along. If you have health conditions, then we encourage you to consult with a doctor, but please feel free to have the doctor give me a call as well because I'm more than happy to share some of the different approaches that Size offers for various different issues. Okay, first question. Are there any exercises you shouldn't do on the Sizer if you have glaucoma? Thanks and love to all the crew. Again, that's a medical question to ask your doctor, but what Size does do is the movement up and down without jarring, without running and hitting a hard surface. Helps to pump circulation, helps to break blood cells apart, open up capillaries, increase blood flow through all the different capillaries, whether it be to the eye, or to the brain, or, or other body parts and functions. So um, moving up and down, increased circulation, that's how we promote health and healing and, and function in the body. There's exercises we can do on the solar sizer for the eye, and I think I talked about that in last week's uh, program, that can be very effective in helping to strengthen the muscle and flexibility of the eye as, as well. Oh, <laughs> demonstrate eye exercises for better vision. Okay, I think I did that last week, but it's basically you create an a, uh, eye chart, put it up on a window, create a collage, different size font, different shape fonts, read it, right to left, up and down, backwards, diagonally, speak it out loud as so it, it's affecting brain activity and the optic nerve as well. As you're moving up and down, your eye is expanding and contracting. 
the circulation is increasing. And as we are reading that, um, it's, we're focusing on mechanisms within the brain and the eye that help us to better focus. Now, as we focus on that chart for a period of time, then we look through the window at something at a distance and we focus at a distance for, for a few moments and then we come back to the eye chart. People that I know who have done this effectively were doing it as much as 20 minutes at a time. So it's, a, it's quite an exercise. Um, let us know. Let us know how it works for you. How long should someone wait after surgery before bouncing again regarding the tugging of G-force on severed tissue? Thank you. That's a medical question. Again, um, I don't know what your medical condition is or what the surgery was on, but I can talk about uh, what cellular size does to help promote faster healing, and you can consult with your doctor for your particular situation. But moving up and down on a cellular sizer is gentle. It helps reduce inflammation, increase circulation, and promote faster healing. Doctors know bones and muscles heal faster and grow stronger when exposed to some stress. That's the idea behind the walking cast. Same principle. So on a cellar sizer, follow the doctor's instructions. Um, and when the doctor says you can start exercising, uh, the cellar sizing, you can start off very gently. But talk to the doctor a little bit and share our DVD with them or have them give me a call. But gentle movement up and down can actually help support pastor healing. How much time you should wait before you do that it, it, that's going to be um, according to your, your doctor because I honestly don't know the procedure or what your personal situation is. But your thoughts on children jumping on cellar sizers. The American Pediatric Association says children under six should not be on any trampoline due to injury. They're right. I, I mean, I agree. Their bones are soft and prone to fracture. The cellar sizer is overwhelmingly fun, and my grandchildren and I do allow bouncing for a few minutes to get their giggles out. I would have more peace if I knew bouncing jumping is not going to damage their bodies. The cellar sizer is not what they're talking about. They're talking about big trampolines. And big trampolines, they are very dangerous. In fact, there's more children injured on big trampolines, I believe, than virtually in any other um, sports-type equipment. Landing on a big trampoline, you don't have a lot of control. And if you land wrong, it can very easily throw you off. Um, or you can land in a not good position. The cellar sizer is very different. All my kids have grown up on a cellar sizer. Try to stop a baby from jumping up and down in a crib. Um, if you have a couch or a bed, instinctively they're going to want to go over and jump on the couch or the bed. The cellar sizer is going to be a lot safer than jumping on a couch or a bed. It's going to give them more support. It's going to challenge their equilibrium and balance more effectively. Uh, we had our children when they were, well, I don't know, nine months old. I mean, they were very, very, very young. We would hold them um, and gently bounce them up and down. You know, and Brooklyn, sitting behind the camera, I bounced Brooklyn when she was just a little over a year old um, quite a bit. My grandson, I think he was three or four, now, he would do some crazy things. He's extremely athletic and extremely coordinated. He's amazing, uh, really is. Uh, he would jump from a, uh, a stair. He would jump from a stair down onto the cellar sizer, flip up in the air, do a somersault, and land on a beanbag chair. My daughter grew up on a cellar sizer too, and I was like, are you, yeah, no, no, I don't recommend that. But creating a healthy environment for children so that they can challenge their balance, their rhythm, their timing, their dexterity, their hand-eye coordination, their all physiological functions, that's what the cellar sizer can help them do. So if they're swinging on the bar, I don't recommend that, um, but there's, there's a lot of great benefits to the moving up and down for children on a cellar sizer. Say, okay, I don't have someone to bounce me and have been cleared by my doc to do whatever I want. I have spinal fusion with two Harrington rods from T10 to L3. Okay, the vertebrae above 
and below the fusion takes extra stress and I get that. Now how to gently bounce to improve health of the disc below N1 or N below? I can see that gentle is the key. This is not a toy exercise rebounder in any way. My rods have been in for 20 plus years. I don't know what the restrictions are that doctor may have. The movement up and down on a cellar sizer, um, just rocking side to side is moving fluid up and down. It's dropping the hips into the mat. It's causing the, the muscles that support the vertebral joints to gently stretch. Very gentle exercise, gently twisting. If you can do that, talk to your doctor, find out again if there's any restrictions, but this gentle movement is going to loosen up the muscles while it's pumping circulation and helping to feed that circulation between the vertebral joints to the disc. Um, I, I don't know what your restrictions would be, uh, but be sensitive to your body because your body is going to let you know um, what, what feels right and generally what, what doesn't. Is there a movement on the cellar size that I can help treat lumbar lordosis? Sway back. Um, if you tighten the stomach muscles and keep them tight as you're bouncing up and down, when you tighten this area, it helps to pull this just a little bit. And then the muscles are flexing around that new position. Again, cellar size is, is gentle. It's not like going out and jogging and hitting a hard surface. So um, building up these, the stomach wall here can help to support that overall structure. Is the cellar sizer healing or harmful to bulging disc and ruptured disc? Now, ruptured disc is a little different than bulging disc. Bulging disc, I want to talk about that because um, we're going to do a demonstration with Brooklyn in a moment for people that have back issues. Because when I gave the, the presentation a couple weeks ago, I showed some very good general exercises. I also showed some more advanced exercises. If you've got a back issue, don't do those more advanced exercises. We want to build up the back first. And I, I mentioned that back then. But if you've had a bulging disc and you do um, the sit and bounce exercises, that may not be very comfortable to begin with. We want to open up the vertebral joints first. We want to take pressure off of the disc. And one of the techniques that has proven itself time and time again to be so incredibly effective is the one that I'm going to do with Brooklyn in helping to open up the vertebral joints, taking pressure off the disc, even helping the disc to move back in, into position. But it's not uncommon to have bulging discs. I mean, people get them from, for all kinds of different reasons and they can go away. Okay, they can, they can be healed, and that's what, that's what we want to work toward. Okay, as the seller says, I would like to convince my loved ones, family, and friends that the seller sizer is worth the investment and will be a lifelong change. How do I tell them without overpressuring or without making them feel like I'm trying to sell them something? I really want to share my seller size experience with people I know, although... No one I know has made the leap of faith to purchase one. And many of you have, made, have had that, that, same, um, that same experience. One of the things I don't do is I don't sell the seller sizer. I don't need to. The seller sizer sells itself, but that's based upon what it can do for an individual. So one of the best things to do is find out what interests your family. Is it weight loss? Is it stress? Is it knee issues, back issues, digestion, elimination issues, shoulder issues, tightening and toning, muscle building? I mean, just feeling better, performing better. What is it that motivates them? What would they like to achieve? And once you understand that, there are many different ways that we can approach the seller sizer and share with them some of those benefits, which, you know, real simple. And I go through on the DVD, Seller Size, the Ultimate Exercise, in the personal trainer drop-down menu, I list a number of different routines or techniques you can do based upon what issues you want to work on. So if you become familiar with that and then you, you talk to them, 
then you can actually, if you have your cellar sizer with you, you can actually talk about or demonstrate what the cellar sizer can do for them. And that's basically all I do, is I find out what, is, what it is that a person wants to accomplish in their own health and fitness. And then we share with them what cellar size has done for so many other people, what it does in the G-forces that are created, and the circulation that is created, and then they ultimately will make their own decision. Once the seeds have been planted, though, their motivation is going to be dependent upon, you know, how desirous, what kind of desire they have. Sometimes that motivation can end up being a health issue, and it's a fear motivation. As a result of that, they, they're more motivated. Sometimes it's an incentive motivation. They just want to feel and look better, and that can motivate them. Um, and then there's those few people that are just internally motivated, and they just... They know they want to feel better. They know what the cellar size can do for them, and they're willing to give it a try. And that's the other thing. Just try it for 30 days. See if it's not something that's going to make a big difference in your life and the lives of those that you care about. Okay, that was probably a long answer. <laughs> Where do you begin as a newbie with health conditions that are all centered around weight loss for improvement of these conditions? Arthritis in the knee, obesity, and pH. Great question. All right. So cellar size helps to break up sticky blood cells. Helps, it can help change the pH of the, the body. Um, ionic minerals, electrolytes, um, uh, can, can do the same thing. The, uh, when we're dealing with weight loss, we want to build up the supporting muscles and ligaments around the joints first so that then we can harness the, uh, the engines, the, the big muscles. So spreading the feet apart, bending the knees slightly, and just walking in place is going to work the thighs and the knees. Now, you may feel that some, but it's not jarring. The objective is to build up the strength of the knees and the ligaments that support the knee. And cellar size will do that. And rocking side to side, gentle, good on the hips, strengthens the thighs and the knees as well. So just repetitions of this while you watch your favorite TV show. Um, or listen to music. Those will build up the knees. I always suggest we start with the baby bounce. So the health bounce that warms up the tissue, opens up capillaries, opens up circulation so that we're going to have a, um, better results. Will rebounding help or harm a minor pelvic collapse in women? I'm torn between that it can help the pelvic floor and wondering about gravity pulling organs down. Thanks. And this is a good question. If the connective t tissue surrounding the region has been torn, like, and it can happen during childbearing or going out and doing a lot of um, jogging or hitting on, on a hard surface, then there's not much other than surgery that's really going to help to support that. But usually the case is that through it's stretched out or it's just gotten weak. And if that's the case, there are things that we can do to help re-strengthen those connective tissues in that fashion around there. And those are some of the routines that, that I shared last time, such as, and again, supporting your back, tilting backwards a little bit, gently moving up and down. And then this gentle movement up and down is having these organs are sitting back, not just straight up and down. So as we're sitting back, they have more support. And then it's gentle, helping to strengthen those muscles. And as we get stronger, you can lift up one leg. If you need to support your back, you still can. And when the leg is tired, lift up the other leg. Eventually, you get to the point where you can take your hands away and do this. But don't do that to begin with because it's, you've got to have a strong back for that. All right. Hi, Dave. Can you go over the face exercises, especially the neck? Yeah. The neck's a tough one, guys. You know, it's, there are muscles here, and there's skin around the muscles, and, and that's, that's different. Um, I open my mouth so I don't overstretch the skin here. So when I tilt backwards, um, these muscles are going to be flexing anyway. Uh, by opening my mouth some and doing 
what looks kind of like a fish face, pucker out the lips, hold these muscles in a certain position so that the skin will flex and the fascia, the collagen flexes around the actual muscular structure of the face itself. So tilting backwards, doing a little fish face. When you tilt the neck backwards, all of these muscles tense up and you can do the kick out or jog. But every time you come down, those muscles have to hold a 15, 20 pound head up. And so they're flexing. There was something else I wanted to read to you. I read it. Um, I thought it was pretty interesting. Aha. Found it. Okay. I saw this in my office the other day and, and added it because, or made a copy of it because I really appreciated the principle. It's not absolute, but there's some interesting principles here. And I want to share them. Marriage is hard. Divorce is hard. Choose your hard. Obesity is hard. Being fit is hard. Choose your hard. Being a debt in debt is hard. Being financially disciplined is hard. Choose your hard. Communication is hard. Not communicating is hard. Choose your hard. Life will never be easy. It will always be hard. But we can choose our hard. Pick wisely. And I thought about that, and I, and I, I was thinking in terms of health and fitness. And we can either fight against that which is wrong, or we can promote that which is right. There's a difference in the energy. We could be fighting to lose weight, or we can be promoting the skinny, or promoting getting healthier. We can fight against cancer, or we can promote a better immune system. In other words, we always have choices, and cellar size is a choice. It's not a destination, it's a choice, and we have an opportunity to enjoy the journey. I was reading an article that um, allegedly Warren Buffett wrote, and I thought, wow, those principles are great. Warren Buffett, if you don't know, he's a multi-billionaire, he's extremely successful. And he's talking about the principles that he has applied in his life to become successful. And as I read these principles, I said, that's exactly right. Those are the exact same principles that we need to apply in our day-to-day -day life on the solar sizer as we are reaching our goal and objective. And so I'll read this to you real quick and we'll answer some questions, do a little demonstration. Researchers have discovered that people exhibiting the rare trait of patience made more progress toward their goals and were more satisfied when they achieved them, particularly if those goals were difficult compared with less patient people. So we've talked about that, enjoying the journey. Every day that we're on it, we're moving towards success. And patient, having a goal or objective is great, but enjoying the journey as we get to that goal or objective. You know, it's kind of like a seed. If you plant a seed in the soil and you water the seed, and the seed starts to grow, and you continue to nurture it, and you continue to water it, and it continues to grow, pretty soon it flowers. Well, it didn't flower first. It went through a process toward achieving what needed to happen before it could flower. The same thing with solar size. Our research has also found that patient people tend to experience less depression and negative emotions and can cope better with stressful situations. Additionally, they feel more gratitude, more connection to others, and experience a greater sense of abundance. That goes a long way 
when you're building a business. It goes a long way when you're building your health. When I wake up in the morning, I'll often walk outside. It's a beautiful view. And I will look and at, for something to be grateful for. You see, the attitude of gratitude is so powerful. And even when we're going through challenges and difficulties in our life, if you look, you can still find something to be grateful for. It can be simple, that you're still able to breathe, you're able to walk, you're able to communicate, you're, you're able to solarize, you're able to do things that will help you move forward in your life. But so many times people focus their energies on what's wrong, what's not working right. That's the frustration they get when they're not being patient. And when we're focusing on things that we can't control, then that's when, well, that's when we get frustrated. We can't control the outcome of anything. We can try, but we really can't. The control or the outcome is in somebody else's hands. But the choice we make, that's in our hands. And as we make good choices, we hope that those choices will lead to the outcome that we want. But there's any number of things that could go wrong, and we can't control everything that can go wrong. So all I'm saying is, hey, we're in this together to enjoy the journey toward achieving our greater health and fitness and potential because we all have one. So he says, as you develop your patience and keep pressing on, remind yourself not to obsess over getting instant results for your efforts. The key to making your patience a successful virtue is to rely on a two-part mechanism. Number one, discipline. You have control over that. Number two, a great system that you can faithfully and consistently work over time. And of course, I'm reading this and I'm thinking, yes! That's cellar size. That's what I've been doing for 30 years. Just my 10 minute a day routine. Somebody said earlier, that, um, they said, well, David's got a much faster metabolism. That's probably true. But I built that through cellar size. And, and you can do the same thing. So I'll speak to the second point. Too many well-meaning entrepreneurs and working professionals go about their business by putting heavy emphasis on that big, audacious end goal so they can experience the results they desire. What they fail to do is not putting enough focus on having a good system and process in place so they can enjoy the journey. Haven't we said that? They enjoy the journey. That takes patience. Sure, accomplishing what you set out to do should be your ultimate goal, but I've seen too many people get discouraged, give up, and fail because they disregarded the means to get to the top of the mountain. They gave up on the system because of an obsession with achieving the goal instead of enjoying the process. Goals are important, no doubt. What gets you to those goals, however, is a good system. A system of repeated habits and actions that you take daily over and over again as you reach for your highest goals. That will ultimately lead to your success. And that was put so beautifully that I didn't need to write it myself. I just wanted to share it with you because that's what subtle size is. It's a process. So Brooklyn, let's come on out here and we're gonna we're gonna work a little bit. Oh, it's not working. There it is. Does that work? Okay. This movement that we're about to do, oh boy. Go ahead and sit down on the edge with your feet up on the couch, and I'll move it forward. Thank you. you bet. Thank you, Bricky. And we can put this behind your head for some support. All right. This movement, oh boy, this needs to be written about in various different books. You want to move your arms out to the side a little bit? Just, yeah, just relax. Okay. And what I'm doing right here is we're taking the vertical pressure off of the disc. So the nerves are not threatened. We lay down horizontally. Starting off very gently as we move up and down, it's a deep massage through the entire body. 
very relaxing. As I've mentioned, I think in the past, when I would lecture, I've had three women and one gentleman actually fall asleep while I was talking to the audience. And I looked down, they were gone. And it's interesting because babies love the same. It's so relaxing. This isn't a surface massage. You can't get this at a massage therapist. This is a deep massage. It's working through the whole body. We work with massage therapists because massage therapists, they're working to create homeostasis balance in the body and open up circulation communication channel, channels and help to detoxify. And they do a great job and they're, com they're communicating with the body and being sensitive to the body as well. The massage therapists that we work with, they will do their work and then they get them on a cellar and they finish off doing this. And that gets to those areas of the body they weren't able to get to. Plus, it starts pumping the lymphatic system, creating a vacuum system of suction, which helps to pull those toxins and poisons out of the body that they just released. So it's important to drink lots of water. But this gentle movement feels like heaven. I mean, it's just the people we've worked with, and I've done this with, have... I just, there's so many of them. When you're laying down, all your internal organs are being massaged as well. But as we open up the vertebral joints, we take stress off the back and we get more circulation to the disc, we take that pressure off that nerve. Now, after we've done this for a few minutes, how's it feel? Yeah, <laughs> feels good. All right. <laughs> okay, guys, if you have back problems, Tell your wife, suggest your wife, to, to get on the cellar size because it's going to help her with her thighs and her knees. Because what you do is you spread the feet apart, you're bending up and down at the knee. And depending on who you're working with, if they weigh more, you bend a little bit more. If they're lighter, you don't have to bend as much. But you're getting the benefit to you and your thighs and your knees as you watch your favorite show and they lay there and they may even go to sleep. But it, it, can, it can really be beneficial. And husbands, if you have a wife that has a back issue, this movement has been, it's phenomenal, phenomenal. Even, even women who are, what feels like they have back problems in their last trimester of pregnancy, I did this with, with my wife as well laying down on the cellar sizer and gently moving up and down. Oh, just, it can, it can be very, very comforting. And you wonder what the gentle movement up and down is doing for the baby inside the womb as it increases oxygen and blood flow and circulation as well. So gentle movement up and down. Um, if you have a bulging disc, we can take the pressure off the disc. We've been doing this now for a few minutes. The second movement is to rock side to side. And as I rock side to side, her hips are gently rolling. And as the vertebral joints are gently moving side to side and the muscles are loosening up even more, especially if they have a knot in them, now we're able to increase the space and the pressure that's on the disc. And then we can gently go back up and down again. Um, I probably, did I talk about Maggie? Maggie? Maybe I didn't. Okay, Maggie has been an inspiration to tens of thousands of people. When I was doing a lecture in Costa Mesa, California, I was in front of several thousand people. And when I had finished lecturing, a lady came up to me and she said, can you help me? And I said, tell me your story. And she said she'd been in a truck accident and had survived it. Wasn't expected to, but she did. And she was under enormous pain. She'd been to seven specialists in the last five years. She was on all kinds of drugs and medications. And the last doctor she'd just seen before she came to the event said, Maggie, you're alive. You weren't expected to be alive. You're going to be like this, but you know, you're, gonna, you're alive. She was terrified. She didn't want to be like that. And I said, I'll leave my equipment up here on stage and at lunchtime, come on back and I'll work with you. 
So I grabbed a doctor who was one of my customers, and we, we took Maggie up on stage, and I started to do this very movement here, and I helped her lie down, and she was very nervous. And um, I said, I just want you to relax, and I started to gently move up and down, and her eyes pop open, like, what are you doing? And I said, does that feel okay? Yeah, that's okay. I said, okay. Then just feel what's going on inside the body. Well, I started, and about 180 people come in, from lunch and they all gather around the stage and I was explaining to them what I've been explaining to you about the benefits of this movement and how it's working and massaging all the internal organs as well. And after several minutes, then I started to rock side to side and her eyes pop open again like, what are you doing? And I said, we're taking pressure off the nerves, laying you down. Now we're going to open up the vertebral joints a little bit more. How's it feel? It's okay. So I said, okay. I want you to just enjoy that. So I'm rocking side to side, going back and forth, probably about a good 15 minutes. And when we were done, I had her pull her knees up toward her chest, roll to the side, and I helped her get up so we don't put any pressure on her back. And she stood there, and I said, okay, now, Maggie, be honest with me, with yourself, with everybody here. You may or may not feel anything, and that's okay. It can take time. So how do you feel? So very tentatively, she takes her right shoulder and slowly lifts it up. And then she sets it back down. Then she does it again and sets it down. Then she takes her right shoulder, moves it up, and then takes her left shoulder and moves it up and sets them down. And then all this anguish builds up in her face. Tears run down her cheeks. And she says, why? And I said, what are you feeling? And she said, the pain. The pain is gone. It's gone. We helped her off stage and she sat in a chair and I continued to work with some of the other people. That night, she went up to her hotel room and went to bed. She came back the next day and she says, David, I've got to get one of these things. I was able to sleep for five hours straight last night. I haven't been able to do that in years. I said, okay, Maggie. Um, let me show you some techniques that you can do on your own um, for the back, which are demonstrated in the DVD, Cellar Size, the Ultimate Exercise. And so she, uh, she gets the Cellar Sizer, and I said, I want you to call me and let me know how it's going, if you have any questions. I didn't hear back from her. I remember Maggie, though. I called her. I left messages on her answering machine. And there was, I didn't get a call back. A little over a year later, they had the same program. Now, they invite people from all around the world that are experts in their particular modality or field of health and fitness. And it was an honor to be invited back the second time. Well, when I was there, um, I had a group of people gathered around, and I saw a lady off to my right. She um, was dressed in a red dress, and she started heading toward me, and she stood out. <laughs> She had red dress, nice dress. She had red high heel spiked shoes. I'll never forget those. She had a red hat on. And, of course, she's got red hair. And she comes right up to me. She says, hi, Dave, remember me? I said, Maggie. I said, you look great. And she did. I said, what happened? You never called me back. She says, I'm, so, I'm sorry. She says, I have been so busy. The pain that she'd been dealing with for years. The pain never came back. I've been working on other issues, but the pain never came I'm remarried. She said, I'm remarried. She said, I've got a life again. I said, would you be willing to share part of your story on stage when I lecture in front of 3,000 people? She said, yes, I would. She's on your DVD, Solo Size, The Ultimate Exercise. And now you know the rest of the story. So again, the movement up and down, Go gentle. But if you do have a setback, if you have, guys, just have your, your wife, wives, your husband, or your children can help you with this. And if you're single, it's a good way to meet other people. But irrespective, it can be extremely, extremely a beneficial movement. So when you get off, you want to pull your knees toward you. Roll to the side here. Yep. I just hope you get up. Thank you, Brooklyn. Thanks. <laughs> thank you. And thank you all for being part of the 
Seller Size family for making a difference, for caring about other people, for sharing this program with others. Please share it. Let's get the message out. Um, we've got a movement to create. We've got a world that we need to educate in the benefits of a different modality of exercise, but one that addresses so many different, different issues. So thank you all for your support. Thank you for being a part and have a great week. We'll get together again in two weeks and um, let us, oh, hey, Brooklyn, were there questions? Are there some questions? Yeah, hold on. let me ask, answer some questions for those who want to stay on. Okay. All right, thank um, you. Does cellar sizing support red blood cells and does it separate them so that they can move more easily? Oh boy, does that, that's an understatement. That's one of the benefits. When I was, <laughs> she's asking, do red blood cells, does it, does it change sticky red blood cells into separated oxygen into energized and imbibed cells? And we've seen it under microscopes. I've seen my own blood and what it's done to it. When we get on a cellar sizer, the blood cells have a sodium potassium pump. They're positive and negatively charged like a battery. They expand and contract. And we've actually seen them before and after cellar sizing, um, uh, a cellar size routine. And the cells under Kirillian photography look to have an energy field around them. They're now separated. They look oxygenated. They're energized and vibed with more fluid. The movement up and down makes it easier now for the body to move these individual blood cells through capillaries to the brain and the body parts and functions. I talked a little bit about this uh, last week so, or a couple weeks ago. So if you look at our YouTube video, you'll see some, uh, some more information concerning it. But yeah, in fact, that's when I... They asked me when I was doing my business plan, who's my target audience? And I said, people. And they laughed and they said, no, nah, you need to narrow your audience. And I said, no, you need to broaden yours because everybody needs a seller size. They just don't know it yet. And that's my job. But one of the reasons is because of the sticky blood cells and the acidic nature that, that our bodies are in as a result of the processed dead foods environments that we live in today. So I think it's essential every day to get on that cellar sizer for two to three minutes if you did nothing else, just to open up the circulatory system. But go ahead, Brookie. Uh, what exercises on the cellar sizer would be helpful to people with osteoporosis? Oh, just weight bearing. Weight bearing exercises, starting off like this. If you want to know how much weight this is, just take your fingertips, put it on top of your deltoids or your, or your uh, trapezius muscles, hold on to them with your fingertips and bounce up and down. You'll feel the weight bearing activity just at this height. It's, um, it's pretty significant. And as we increase the then the osteoblastic activity can occur and the bones can utilize the minerals to, to strengthen the bones and read some of the customer reviews on that one. COVID and cellar sizing, sure. That's a that's near and dear to all of us. I am so grateful for the cellar size and what I've seen it. You know, it has so much more potential and we need more research. And I'm happy, again, I've said this in the past, I'm happy to work with any university or any research facility with regards to what we have found over the last 30 years as far as the benefits that seem to be attributed to cellar size. I can't make health claims, medical claims, because I don't have a lot of the back in the research, but I do know it's weight bearing. I do know it moves fluid up and down. It acts like an internal scrub brush in the body. But as far as the cells, when they looked at my cells, and I talked about this a couple weeks ago as well, the blood cell membrane in my blood cells is actually thicker than typical blood cells. That comes from a doctor who was looking at my blood cells underneath a microscope. They said that they had noticed these little spirochetes that were ultimately destroyed, but that were in the body at the time from a, um, a tick bite, that they were bouncing off the blood cells. They couldn't get in. They said, look at that. They were watching this, following this spirochete. It couldn't get into my blood cells. Viruses need to get in to your blood cells to propagate. And when they can't, then your immune system has more time to recognize that foreign invader and attack it and destroy it. So that's the answer. We also know through Dr. Arthur C. Guyton's book, Medical Physiology, 
that if you run as fast as you can on the cellular side, you can increase the number of active white, active white blood cells in your body by 10 to 15 times, and they'll stay there for up to one hour. Tell me that's not important. It means every hour we can give ourselves virtually our own natural antibiotic. We have doctors that have ordered the cellular from us, and they're doing... They're using it for their patients now. I wish they were freer to be able to share some of the results with us. But if you call out an army of white blood cells into your bloodstream without having to go through a fever, without having the body to recognize these foreign you know, viruses or foreign invaders, you can draw upon the potential of your natural immune system without having to wait to go through a fever and all these other symptoms or conditions in order to be able to draw those white blood cells out. One minute, running as fast as you can, pretty close, um, for one hour of 10 to 15 times the number of active white blood cells. Dr. Arthur Guidance book, Medical Physiology. Yes, Brooklyn, any? How do you feel about gently massaging the carotid area while bouncing? Of course, after checking with the doctor, one side is 100% blocked and the other side is 50%. Yeah, check with your doctor. The, uh, this pumping action right here might look a little strange, but what it's doing is it's moving fluid through the one-way valves. It's helping to pump. And so it's also great for digestion elimination too. But as you're moving, your hips drop into the mat and your shoulders move up, while your back is also moving up and down. And so this movement, strange as it may seem, something I do every day. I think it's essential. But you can imagine what it's doing for pumping the lymph system as well as the circulatory system as you are pumping with the heart. It's good? Mm -hmm. All right. Guys, have a great week. Be safe, and we look forward to talking with you next week.